All right, name two pair of parallel segments. Now I'm gonna go with the ones that are marked here in the figure because that's the safest way to go. Remember parallel are marked with these arrows. This has two arrows and this has two arrows, which means they are parallel to each other. We also visually can look at these and see, yeah, those look like they are parallel. They're on the same plane. They're both on the front side of this figure and they're both pointing in exactly the same direction. So two pair of parallel segments, um, I can say that AC is parallel to EG. Do you see another set of arrows on this figure? Um, hopefully you do. Notice there's a, an arrow here and an arrow here. Each of these lines had one arrow, so that tells me that those lines are parallel, and they do appear to be parallel. They're on the same plane, going in the same direction. So their names are CG and DH. So CG is parallel, this is the symbol for parallel right there in the middle, to DH. Okay, on this one we want to name four, four pairs of perpendicular segments. Now perpendicular, remember, is marked on a figure with this little square in the corner. So there's one pair right there wherever these two come together. AC and CD are perpendicular. So AC is, here's our symbol for perpendicular, perpendicular to CD. Where's another pair? Let's find another symbol. Oh, there's one over here in this corner. What two lines come together there? BD and DC. They are perpendicular. Let's look for more symbols um, right here in this corner. EG and GC come together there. So EG is perpendicular to GC. It's marked that way on the figure. And there's a couple more. Let's just pick one of them. Um, let's see, right here on the bottom, there's a perpendicular marking. That was the line CD and the line DH. CD, perpendicular to DH. There are a couple more on there, but we just asked for four pairs. There are four pairs. Notice over here we could do this pair of lines here. And we could also do this pair of lines here. Anywhere there's a right angle marking, you have perpendicular segments. <clears throat> Let's name four pair of skew segments. So remember, skew means two lines that are never going to intersect. And the reason they're never going to intersect is because they're on different planes. Okay, so that is what we mean by skew. So let's take, for example, let's start with AC here. It would be skew to, it's going up and down on the left side. This GH is going um, front and back on the bottom. They're on different planes, going different directions, but they will, will never intersect because they're on those different planes. AC and GH would be a pair of skew segments. <clears throat> we can do the same thing with BD. BD is also going up and down on this left plane. And GH, again, is going along the bottom. So BD and GH are also skew. All right, let's do our up and downs over here. So what if I used EG? What does EG not intersect with because it's not on that plane? Um, notice I can't use AC. Those are parallel. But if I use this one going across the bottom here, this CD, that would work, EG and CD. If they were on the same plane, they would intersect, but they're not on the same plane. And let's try our other up and down line, our E, what is that? Our FH, okay? It's also skew with CD. Okay, so again, skew lines are lines that do not intersect, and the reason they don't intersect is because they're not on the same plane. 